Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Crafter livestream. My name is Colin Bressy, and this week we're going to be doing a little bit of Secret Santa with some of my favorite YouTubers. Stick around and let's find out what's in the box! Okay, so this is a really cool collaboration that was put together by Benji over at Benji's Hobbies. We all drew each other's names randomly and picked a miniature and a paint to send to that individual. And we weren't supposed to tell each other who that was. I missed that memo entirely, but I was really excited to send my miniature out. So I grabbed my little helper, and off to the gaming store we went. Unfortunately, they did not have a replica of Health and Safety Frog, so I had to look for the next best thing, which I felt would be whatever lizard man creature thing I could find within the Warhammer universe. This was going to take careful planning. I had to be methodical, meticulous in my miniature selection. I needed to... Wait, hold on a second. What is this? He's got something here. Well, that's pretty cool. So, instead of me picking it for you, I think my son just picked this out for you, Dave. I kind of like that. It'd be fun to paint. I know. You think it'd be fun to paint? Yeah. Now we needed a paint. Thanks to a recent video from Josh over at the Pickle Jar, I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to send Dave. I mean, if there was ever a paint to describe someone I've never met before from across the seas, I think it's Spicy Meatball. That's the winner, Dave. Spicy Meatball headed your way. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. I don't know what's inside. I don't know who it's from. It's Secret Santa. Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ooh. The Fang. Oh yeah, give it a little shake. Give it a little shake. I'm, it's, I feel like it's a monster. I think it might be a monster. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Super cool! Yes! 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 It's, it's the Purple Worm. Secret Santa. Job well done. I am super excited. Thank you so much. What an awesome gift. Let's get to painting. For those of you that have been following the Crazy Crafter livestream, you'll know that I have fallen in love with using contrast paints to paint up all my minis. Flat white primed, and then you can throw on the color and it looks amazing. It's a great way to make miniatures ready for the tabletop quickly. So with my bottles of liquid talent laid out before me, I threw them down on a primed mini as a little test run, loved the colors, and it was time to rock and roll. An instant recipe for awesomeness is inviting one of your best friends over along with his two sons to hang out and craft. Both his two boys and my son got to try out contrast paints for the first time on their minis. Hey, what minis are you painting, Ben? Don't, don't. <laughs> Three ghosts. Three ghosts. What else do you have? Dog. A dog. 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 Look, not just a dog. Look it's a ham pound. Yeah. A ham pound. A ham pound? A ham hound. <laughs> You'll be shocked to hear that lots of contrast paint was spilled during this paint session. Should have stocked up on my makeup sponges, huh, Benji? So my buddy Aaron was building a bridge ambush as part of the guild build for the month of December in the Tabletop Crafters Guild on the Facebook group. And he grabbed a bunch of my spare foam that I had left over from my Kenku tree hut build. And he turned out creating an epic piece of terrain that I cannot wait to share with everyone in January. That's looking cool, dude. Daddy, 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 what? Daddy, yeah, what? what? Yes, I can. I'll glue it right now. Hmm? Oh, that's cool. Like you can't fit them on. That's a cool bridge. Why do you like painting with contrast paints? Because it fills the spaces up easier. Yeah. It certainly does. 
You're doing a good job, dude. I'm about to be. I just have to paint his quiver and then done. Nice. We were making excellent progress right before dinner time, despite getting in each other's way just a little bit every now and again. Pretty sure Dave is gonna get a hard on when he sees the size of this pizza box. Like a true pro, I painted the base before I added this awesome Gridmark City rubble from Geek Gaming Scenics. I'm digging how the worm is looking at this stage. It's looking pretty fly, but the big question still remains. So who is my secret Santa? Well, I think I just figured it out. So I shared a picture of the mini with um, the other collaborators that I'm, that I'm uh, doing this video with, and Michael sent back a response saying, hey, did you use your paint that your secret Santa sent you? Like, that's part of the rules, and I was just like, huh, I didn't. <laughs> like, A, I forgot. So I put the fang in the mouth and it looks really good. It highlights the inside of the mouth and the mouth needed that. But the only way he knows that is if he's my secret Santa because he doesn't see his paint on there. Sorry, Michael, you just gave that away. <laughs> this has been an awesome challenge and I can't thank Benji enough from Benji's Hobbies. Thank you, Michael Patterson, for my awesome purple worm. And Dave, I cannot wait to see what you do with that Tyranid Bloodlord. Most assuredly, it will turn out a spicy meatball. Lastly, thank you to Aaron and the boys for coming over and hanging out. We cannot wait to do it again soon. All right, that's going to do it for me, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, head on over to Benji's Hobbies, Geek Gaming Scenics, The Pickle Jar, Broadsword Wargaming, Elston Nation, MS Paint, and Nat Win Videos to give their uh, videos some love, too, for the Secret Santa Challenge. Until the next time, be sure to craft your passion daily, and I'll catch you on the next live stream. Cheers. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone.